my life has been completely devoted to listening and following that voice. And amazing miracles have happened, daily miracles, many, many miracles. That's what you need. You need to be miracle-minded. You need to be habitually miracle-minded to be consistently happy. That's the formula, so to speak. Consistently miracle-minded takes you closer towards that revelatory awakening experience. Guided in terms of where to go, what would you have me do, where would you have me go, what would you have me say, and to whom. You know, really to get into that mode and make that your life. And that's the beauty. I think we've got some amazing speakers this weekend that can testify that it works. That can just testify and witness. Because Nobody can do this for anybody else, and we, we've come to experience there really isn't anybody else. There's just one mind that's got to get this. And if we're willing to totally go for this, then the reflections get stronger and stronger and stronger. Another line in the Course was really kind of striking. It said, if you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. I find that fascinating. You're entitled to miracles, that's one of the workbook lessons, but you are, if you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. In fact, this world is nothing more than the call to witnesses. So when I'm finding in my awareness, in my dreamscape, these devoted, amazingly devoted brothers and sisters that have cast aside all to give their lives over to the Holy Spirit to be used for the plan of awakening, I find that spectacular. I have to quit counting how many of these witnesses are coming of devotion. That's part of the pathway. If you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. That sounds kind of Eastern. You know, anyone knows the story of Yogananda, Ramana Maharshi? There's some devotion going there. I've been over to India and gone to some of these places and ashrams. I love the feel. I love the feel before I walk in the door. I'm going, woo. <laughs> so I went to some convents and monasteries. Woo. I feel, I get the chills before I even get to the door. When I'm in the parking lot. Oh gosh, is that good. That's there's some devotion going on there. And because we're always teaching what we would learn, we're always extending what's in our heart, so we can strengthen it in our awareness. And that's the function of a miracle worker, to, to follow the Spirit and go and extend love and forgiveness, and strengthen it in our mind. 